Thank you very much, Mayor Curtitone. Mayor McGlynn of Medford has been a proponent of the Green Line extension for many years because he understands the potential it has for his city and his constituents. And I look forward to working with him to make sure that, his pro that this project meets the needs of his community and helps continue Medford's revitalization. I'd like to invite Mayor McGlynn to say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. You may wonder how long a proponent. Uh, in 1977, I served on the Transportation Committee of the Massachusetts House of Representatives, and you know what they were discussing then? The Green Line Extension and the Red Line Extension. So, so we've come a long way, and I want to thank the Governor, uh, Governor Patrick. I want to thank Secretary Cohen. I want to thank Under Secretary Stern for the focus that they put onto this issue uh, in trying to move the project ahead. You know, it's so important that we have an opportunity to once again be involved in government, which in recent years in the Commonwealth, a lot of the locals have been cut out. And to have an advisory committee here, uh, we're citizens from our community, we're represented by Carol Shopton, who's here, Bill Wood, Fred Del Russo, Ken Krause, have an opportunity to make educated and informed decisions about what will happen to public transportation in our community. That's a great thing. Uh, and they're committed to work side by side with their neighbors from Somerville and Cambridge to come out with the best uh, uh, possible pro uh, product. We're also very happy that uh, the environmental review will begin, has begun, uh, so people can see what the impacts are going to be to the quality of life in our community. And when you look at the overall concept of what's happening here, and you talk about the quality of life, there are two things that are, are critically important to the quality of life. One is public, tra uh, public transportation, and the other is the air quality. So we're glad that uh, you're doing, Governor, you've stepped up to the plate, fulfilling your commitments, and we look forward to working forward with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor McGlynn. The large number of public officials here today speaks to the importance of this project to the cities of Cambridge, Somerville, and Medford, and really the entire region north of Boston. We have a number of members of the state legislature here with us today, and I would like to invite them to say a few words. Uh, I'd like to invite to the podium Senator Jalen, who represents both Medford and Somerville. I'm taking a chance and believing that you were introducing me, but I was listening to the train. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very, very conscious of some of the issues that people are going to raise in other parts of the area. Uh, I just thanks to everybody that's brought us to this point. I'm not going to li list them all again. Uh, the Patrick administration, as has been mentioned before, inherited 16 years of neglect and delay. And I think we need to remember the real cost of that, that real people, people we know, died of lung cancer and heart disease because of the delay in the Green Line. This is a real cost to our people and our city. So we are now experiencing real progress. And today is more than I actually expected. I expected that we would Thanks. just be announcing the signing of the contract, which is wonderful. The Romney administration could have signed this contract two years ago when they first selected this contractor to, to do the environmental review. Better late than never, and better sooner than later. And so thanks to the Patrick administration for also moving forward on designing the cars and taking some of the other suggestions that you've made already. I hear you've gained two months already. At that rate, we'll get it done by 2014, and this is a great start. Thank you, Pat. Great. Next, I'd like to invite the representative from Somerville, Denise Provo, to speak. It's great to see everybody here, and I am grateful to all the people who have been named and even those who have not been named who have hoped for and advocated for the Green Line extension. Uh, I can't claim as, as much history as Mayor McGlynn, but back when I went to work first for Somerville City Hall in 1984, the MBTA published its Beyond Lechmere study recommending that the Green Line be extended through Somerville to Medford in order to alleviate congestion in Somerville and improve air quality. I thought it was a great idea and fighting for that idea to get traction led me to the extreme step of running for public office. Um, and I am delighted today to be where I am, not just because I'm in a position to help promote this project, but to be in a position of such wonderful alignment where 
uh, Somerville City Administration and Medford's and our congressional delegation and of course our governor and his administration are all in alignment to say yes to this project and to make it move forward. Thank you. Thank you. Next, it's my pleasure to invite Representative Toomey of Cambridge and Som Somerville to speak. Thank you very much. I also want to thank Governor Patrick and Congressman Capuano, Mayor Curtis Cho and Mayor McGlynn, my colleagues in the State House and the colleagues from the Board of Aldermen and from, uh, from Medford uh, for all that they've done to get us to where we are at this point today. Uh, most especially, I want to recognize the community members who really kept our feet to the fire and have been great advocates for this. And it's to your credit that this is being done today. So to the community members, I really want to say thank you. And I'm going to end at that because I want all these officials back in their office and start implementing <laughs> all of the things that they said they're going to do. Thank you. <laughs> uh, finally, uh, just a, f a couple of uh, uh, additional words. The Patrick administration looks forward to working with our partners in the legislature to uh, advance the Green Line extension project as quickly as possible. This project represents $560 million in public investment in transportation infrastructure, and it demonstrates the commitment of the Patrick administration to transit projects that make our communities healthier, more mobile, and more livable. Although we are confident that the Green Line will fare well in the federal funding process, we are realistic about the many competing demands for federal money from transit projects all around the country. For that reason, we are committed to seeking authorization for state bond funding uh, to fully support whatever portion of the of the other project costs that are not funded by other sources. The, the day is coming when Green Line trains will arrive in Union Square, Gilman Square, Ball Square, and Medford Hillside. And we are much closer to that day with the early steps we have announced today. Thank you again for being here today, and uh, Governor Patrick will now take some questions from the press. <laughs> we can leave now. <laughs> the state is going to apply for federal funding, and if it is rejected, the state will pay, pick up the cost? Yes, the yes. This is 2014. Go ahead, Andrew. 2014 date. Um, our goal is to beat the 2014 date. What is the timeline? You mentioned that you have a timeline. Well, I said, I said during the time of my service. <laughs> I also point out that there are not term limits in Massachusetts. <laughs> Now the point is as fast as possible. I mean, uh, so many speakers have uh, have made the point. The mayor said that uh, you were talking about this when you were in the transportation committee back in 1977. 77. So we've been waiting a long, a long time. Well, I think there probably is many different versions of why there's been a delay, as uh, um, as there are people here. I'll defer to uh, um, to others, but I think a lack of focus, um, an unwillingness to invest in our infrastructure, which is uh, frankly apparent all over the Commonwealth. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's a big price tag, and so uh, uh, there, there, are, there are those um, um, issues as well. But um, as Senator Jalen said, there's a cost to that delay. Uh, and uh, we have an administration uh, in the State House now and a partnership uh, with officials uh, here who understand that cost and want to deal with it. Anybody want to speak to the delay issue? Did the state never apply for federal funding before? I don't know the answer to that. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's about the rain again. That's the one.